This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Facebook company call. We're about to find out who this guy on Facebook that's asking us drivers, are we willing to pay our own way to come up to Chicago, Illinois to drive his truck for 60 Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Hey, how's it going? No, I was scrolling through my uh, my Facebook and I, I came across your post. Uh, I'm interested to knowing a little bit more on what you got to offer. Um, for what? Company drivers or lease purchase? Uh, what post did you see, boss man? Well, I'm not I'm not sure. You you on your post you says pay is sixty cent per mile. So I I'm well, I'm not sure which that's one is company. that. Okay, okay, that's, that's company. The company position. Yeah, but I also have a lease to purchase that pays a uh, percentage of the load. We pay 88% and usually take home cash like that after paying everything along with the fuel is around 1800 to 3000 It really depends what type of week you have. Right now, I already did send the guy for the company position, but if you want, uh, we can still go ahead with it in case he doesn't pass. Even if the company driving isn't an option, we can always look for a lease to purchase. Oh, okay. So... So the company position is not available no more, or? I don't know if it's not available no more, because I just sent the guy in for evaluation. If they like him, they're going to take him. Regardless, I can still send you along with him, so they call you immediately if he doesn't pass for the company position. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so what? I, so I'm, am I working for a company, or am I I'm working for an owner? What, what, what am I doing here? Uh, what? An owner up who owns a fleet of trucks in a company, basically. That's the easiest way to summarize it. Okay, okay, okay. Can I get the company name or or no? Oh, of course, of course. What's, what's the uh, company actually, name? You know what? I changed my mind. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The company name is Super Eagle Holding. We're out of Chicago, Illinois. So the company on the company side, I would get a 60 cent a mile. I would average about 3,000 miles a week and good stuff like that, Probably right? Probably more. If you're... Look, you can always run more than 3,000 uh, if you want to run more than 3,000. That's completely on you. And I never heard an owner complain about, hey, my company driver is doing like 4,000 miles. That's an issue. Yeah, that's never going to be an issue. Come on, man. The more... The more money you make, the more money the fleet makes. The more money the fleet makes, the more money the company makes, the more money the company makes, the more money you make. And it's a circle. You see where I'm going with this? I heard so, so much about about them. And I, and I, ugh. But but from the sounds of it, 60 cent a mile, you, you said that I, I, all I had to do is just make my way up to uh, Chicago and I, I, Chicago, I would get in. Illinois, yes. Yeah, basically, if the position is available. Now, same goes for the lease to purchase. I mean, that's something you want to consider. Most often than not, people have an issue with our lease purchase because they expect to do two loads and make, like, I don't know, a paycheck of $2,000. It's a lease to purchase, man. But you've got to run if you want to make money. I mean, a lease to purchase isn't even there to make you money for the most part. It's there to get you a truck so you can be an owner-operator so you can make money, a lot of money. Now, as I told you, average payoff for a lease to purchase is 1800 to 3000 That's for a solid week. Uh, if you want to be in the range of 1800 you would be running Monday to Friday, and on the weekends, you'd be home. So that's something that most of my guys do. They keep it around 1800 to 2500 depending on how actually they run during Monday to Friday. The guys that are closer to the 3000 and reaching the 3000 range are the dudes that run through the weekends. Basically, how that works, sir, is I'm sorry. Do you even want to talk about the lease to purchase or am I wasting No, no, time? go ahead. I'm, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay, so here's the situation on the lease. Basically, I have a plan for all my drivers. I'm not their dispatcher. I'm just a recruiter, though. I always make a deal with their dispatcher. My guys run Monday, Tuesday. They make money for our deductions. So that's truck, no trailer, no cargo insurance, yada, yada, all our deductions. They're usually able to cover that by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they make money for fuel that week. 
Thursday and Friday, those are you days. Why I call them you days is because those are the days you'll be making yourself money. On uh, Thursday and Friday, my drivers usually do back-to-back short loads to ensure that they have a good paycheck. And if they follow the formula, as I told you, around $1,800, $2,000 for Monday to Friday, 2000 to 3000 for the entire week. I mean, that's completely up to you how you're going to run, boss man. We're very flexible. You have flexible EOB. Uh, you have flexible dispatching. What I mean by flexible dispatching is you actually choose the areas in which you operate and you choose your own home time. Uh, coming this month, we're going to get our drivers a load board so you guys can start booking your own loads with a dispatcher. Basically, how the load board works is you'll have access to all the loads that are pre-booked by the pre-book uh, department, and you'll be able to select any one of them. Okay, okay, okay. So we will actually have access to a load board now. Let me ask you this, because you did mention about about the fuel, and you, you said somewhere around uh, Wednesday-ish, that's where I would be pretty much making money to cover for my fuel a couple of drivers a couple of drivers uh that that i've seen on the facebook post that talks about super ego the fuel card is it is it only when i have loads or how did that work for me it's true but you can always ask your dispatcher to turn on a fuel card if it's an emergency on an emergency we will turn it on we will not turn it on for personal conveyance that's the only thing. A lot of people come over here uh, without asking any questions. They eventually get disappointed. That's the problem people have with the company. You need to know what you have asked. Me as a salesperson, well, I'm not in sales. I'm in recruiting, but that doesn't matter. Me as a recruiter, of course, I'm going to avoid the topics that usually give people issues, you know. If you ask me, I have to answer, and I'm going to tell you straightforward like I just told you because you asked me. We will not turn the fuel card on for personal conveyance. Now, why would I, as a recruiter, get a call from a person, hey, I'm in front of the yard, I want to come over, okay. Why would I stop and say, hey, this, this, and that, and that is wrong with the company? That just wouldn't make any sense, am I right? No, you're, you're so you you got to look at it right. from a rational standpoint. You got to look at it from a rational standpoint. My job as a recruiter is to get drivers. I'm doing my job. You just need to know which questions to ask me to get a straightforward answer. For example, like you just asked me for fuel. Okay, okay. I like I, I like you. I I've seen a a package online by Super Eagle. I will definitely go over there and check that out and see what see what else whoa, that's whoa, whoa. Just one second. I'm sorry for interrupting. Just one second before you do that. If you apply on, uh, I said if you apply on our website, it's gonna ask you to put in an email, phone number, first name, and last name. I would stop doing that just because that's gonna take you to another recruiter as a website application. And you already said you kind of love me, so even before you check out the website. So that is you in the in that that made the post, right? So I could just put your name on uh on, on the thing yeah, if I want to go me. further. Uh, well, that's the only thing. Uh, you don't put in you put in your information, not my information. That's the no, thing. No, no, uh, no. You put in your phone number. No, that that's what I'm saying. I I will put in my. I, uh, the yeah, only thing I, I want to do is write your name and number in my contacts and save you in my application. So if you do apply online, that's just going to forward you to me. So could I just get a first and last name and a phone number because I can't even see a caller ID right now? I ain't trying to get you to come over right now. I just want to lock you in as my driver if you do decide to come over. That's why I'm asking for the phone number. Yeah, that's completely fine. I just uh, wanted to explain the website situation so you don't get confused if another recruiter does call you. I I definitely appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank you. Uh, can I find you maybe on Facebook so I can leave you my contact information? I mean, my email as well. You never know when you might need it. If I find you, I'll just send you a friend request. If I can't, that's completely up to you then. All right. I okay, appreciate man. you, man. Stay Thank you. There. Give me a call. I will do that. Hey, no problem. Give me a call if you need anything. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Later. All right, everybody. This young man from Facebook is looking for drivers that is willing to come up to Chicago, Illinois, and jump on board with IE Super Ego. 
you guys want to know more about this young man, he goes by the name of Noah Davis. He's in the Facebook group, and he's saying that they are looking for drivers. So if you're willing or live in the Chicago area, or if you're willing to come up to Chicago yourself, up under your own dime he says that the company got 60 cent for you they got 3,000 miles for you each week new equipment newer semis 53 foot drive-in trailers hey they say they want you home for three weeks and out they want you out for three weeks and home for a couple of days can you handle that so simple requirements and they are sap friendly yes sir so simple requirements they only looking for four months of experience with a valid cdl if you guys are interested in getting on noah will will, would appreciate it very much that you would get in contact with him so that the application process could be smooth and go through him all right they are dui they are sap friendly drivers need to complete or be ready to complete the return to duty tests all right of course if you're interested or want to find out more give my man a call and he'll go over everything you need to know about super eagle but let me just stop you right there because as you heard before if you don't ask the questions he's not going to answer them so ask the questions and he will be happy to answer them all right all right super eagle holdings once again they still looking for drivers once again they still they still controversial will you be able to make some money over there I don't know. Find out.